In today's video, we're going to create this button hover effect in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Ikea Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. Press R to select your rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Then slightly adjust the properties of the rectangle. Press T to select your text tool, then type your text on the rectangle. Then adjust its properties as well. Drag the text to the center. Duplicate the rectangle and rename the duplicate to line. Add a stroke to the duplicate, adjust this width and change its color and remove the fill. Duplicate the rectangle once again and rename the copy to bottom line. Press R and create another rectangle, then round its corners. Duplicate that rectangle and adjust its size to cover the length of the button. Select both rectangles and click on Union to merge them. Rename the Union to Bottom Union, then duplicate it using Command D and rename the duplicate to Top Union. In the Layers panel, move the bottom union below the bottom line and move the top union below the top line. Select the top line and the top union and click the Max icon. Then select the bottom line and the bottom union and click on the Max as well. Now rename the Max group to Top Max group and then Bottom Max. Select all the elements and group them. Duplicate the created group. Select the top union of the first group, click on the drop down. Then select the first rectangle inside the top union and drag it to your far right. Once you're done with that, select the second rectangle in the top union and drag it upwards. Repeat this process for the bottom max group. Select both groups and create a component set. Switch to prototype and connect the first variant to the second variant using the while hovering setting. To use the component, click on the first variant and press down Alt or Option whilst dragging the copy away. Voila! This is your hover button effect. Now, let's switch things up. Create an instance of the component and detach it from its main component. Duplicate the background rectangle and rename it as text marks. In the layers panel, move the rectangle to the top and make sure it's beneath the hover text. Duplicate the text and type hovered. Change its color and drag it downwards. In the layers panel, select the text marks and the hover and hover text and max them. Duplicate the button. Drag the hover text into the frame and the hover out. Now, repeat the process of unveiling the stroke as we did in the first component. Select both frames and create a component set, then connect them using the settings as the previous. Voila! Our upgraded hover effect in Figma. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more design tips. Thank you for watching.